My name is Gabrielle DeFrancesco, and I'm here with Jocelyn from DECA talking about DECA Dodgeball. How are you today? Good, how are you? I'm good. Um, so what is DECA Dodgeball? It's just a dodgeball event where we're trying to raise money for a charity. Um, so when and where is it? Um, so it's in the gym at uh, the high school. It's on Friday, March 27th, and from 7 to 9.30 p.m. And will there be teams? Yes, there's okay. going to be however many teams that do sign up and we'll be playing on like brackets. And how many players can be on each team? Um, it's eight players to a team and it costs ten dollars per each person. But we do give a little something of a t-shirt. Um, so how can I sign up for to be in dodgeball? Um, so you can sign up in the school store or you can go to room 344 with Mr. Shaw and sign up there. Um, the registration date uh, deadline is on Friday, March 6. And so how does the actual game of dodgeball work? So we'll be playing on brackets and it's like kind of single elimination. Uh, so we kind of just randomly choose the teams and um, it's just elimination. And so will there be, um, I hear there's going to be raffles, like will there be raffles for like people who aren't participating in dodgeball? Um, there will be raffles and there will also be like <coughs> vendors you can get food at, people can watch from the community. And it's more like a community event versus like a school event. We hope to see like alumni, kids from the middle school, kids of course from the high school and teachers, anyone from the community. Um, so I know you said this already, but when is the last day to register? It's March 6th. Okay. And so who does this benefit? Like, why are you guys deciding to do this? So our organization that we chose this year is Coming Home with Grace, which is actually uh, Ms. Sincotti, our Eng uh, one of the English teachers, and Ms. Herzog, one of the past teachers, um, are a part of. And basically our goal is to build um, a sense or help fund a sensory room in one of the elementary schools in our district what for, is the special, for the special <laughs> needs students. Very good. Um, what is a sensory room? So basically it's like very like brightly colored. There's things that like really like spark uh, th thoughts and <laughs> um, So that's all I have for you today. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, that's about it. If you want to learn how dodgeball works, go check out old games on NASD TV archives and now back to our hosts.